Hello and we'll get back to Rise of the Orient episode number 6. We are coming to the climax of season number 2 for Late in Orient. I did fail the first time trying to get this, uh, the Orient out of the, the Bananarama League. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to get it right this time. That's right folks, back once again with some more FM18 action uh, as we are approaching the end of the season. I don't think we're going to get to the complete end of this season uh, in this video. We're just going to do a couple more games. In fact, our next game is against second place Hartlepool. I'm going to do that right here, right now. But before we get into that, we're going to take a look back at the bit of action that we uh, have been playing since you last saw me. I've not been on the old Twitch recently. There's been a lot of stuff going on behind closed doors. We've recently got a puppy. Her name is Luna, and if you haven't done so already, there is a little brief introduction to Luna video. Feel free to check that bad boy out. We'll give you up to bang up to speed of what, who the heck Luna is, and how much of uh, energy she does take out of me, and how much uh, schedule zapping stuff she does. So, yep, Twitch is on a bit of a downward spike at the moment, but we'll see how it goes in the new year. Anyway, so let's waste no more time and let's turn the clock back to the last few fixtures. So we start with a loss in the FA Cup to Portsmouth 3-2 defeat at Brisbane Road. Lawless from the spot and Parrish with one of his only goals so far for the Orient. But we didn't make it through to the next round. Next up it was a 2-2 draw against Dover. First on the mark for the Orient. Rubinotto involved. Crosses in there. Macaulay Bond continues his goal scoring fanatics. Uh, our second goal of the afternoon or evening. Sendles White puts it in the Thomas Chante over to Macaulay Bond for his second of the day. Next up, we took on Kettering in the FA Trophy, I believe. Eight nil winners. Charlie Doyle there with the opening goal. Uh, next up, Akinfen with a Mansell to Lawless to Judd, who crosses this bad boy in. Hepburn Murphy, that's his first of four in the afternoon. Next up, was it Murphy again? We'll take a look. Akinfen were involved to a Cheng. Uh, this was a much changed lineup. Molyneux crosses in there. Uh, Hepburn Murphy with the rebound. That's his second of the day. Three for Orient. Next up, uh, Sundles White punts it long. Hepburn Murphy with the pace. Looking for options. Crosses in there. Ocheng to Mansell who curls one in there. He hasn't scored many. That's his second, I think, maybe goal of the of the season. Parrish with the throw in. Back to Molyneux. Crosses it in there. Akin Fen on the score sheet. I think he gets two. I've lost count already. What number around here? Akin Fen with to Ocheng. Slips to Hepburn Murphy. Back to Akin Fenway, that's his second of the night. Moving on, who we got here? Akin Fenway involved once again to slips it to Mansell. He's got a man in the box. Is that Hepburn Murphy? Yes, his hat trick. Oh, yes, he was on fire this evening. Next up, I think this is his fourth goal. Akin Fenway loses out, but Parrish picks it up, puts it long. Hepburn Murphy slips it in there. That's his fourth goal. And our eighth. And then we took on Gateshead in the league. 3 0 winners. Molyneux to Lawless once again. A bit of a mixed, mixed up lineup. Clay slips it in there. I can find one on a tight angle. That's 1 0. Next up for Orient. Uh, Clay involved in this one. Slipped to Hepper Murphy. He was on a bit of a run at the moment. Grandison out wide. Hepper Murphy once again. Can continue his goal scoring madness. Uh, and finally, Lawless once again from the spot. That makes it three. And then we took on Boreham Wood in a seven goal thriller. Four goals for Orient, 4-3 winners. Clay involved, back to Karoma, to Clay who smashes it home. That was our first. Then our second of the night. Uh, sloppy play by uh, Boran Wood. Alakobi, that can Fenway. Hepburn Murphy with pace, long distance shot. That's the second of the night. Next up, Alakobi once more involved. Akin Fenway to Hepburn Murphy who lobs it. Macaulay Bon at a tight angle, slips it back. Karoma with a finish. That was not a bad goal, not a bad effort. Coulson this time over the top, Hepburn Murphy heads it back. Romanotta to Hepburn Murphy, again at a tight angle, pulls it back, McConley Bond, that makes it four. Uh, and then we took on Halifax, 3-1 winners. Uh, Sendles White punts this one long for McCauley Bond to chase man in the middle. Who is that? I cannot see. Was that a big fat OG? No, it's Romanotta with the final touch. Dayton this time, free kick, punts it long. Sendles White and Karomo's in there for a second in as many games. A Cheng involved in the third. Slips it to Dayton. Uh, eventually gets to Lee. Back to Dayton. Back to Lee. He smashes it in there. That's three. That's the game. Then we were held to a draw. A 1-1 draw against Eastleigh. Romanotta to Oasuma. To Lee. To Leiden. To Granderson who hits it home. That was the only goal for us. And we took on Sutton. 2-0 at their gaff. From the corner. 
Karoma. Ella Kobe with the header. That's one. And to finish it up, another corner, Molyneux. Ella Kobe once again. No, no joy this time, but I guess the Hepburn Murphy who makes it 2-0. Then another draw, 3-3 draw against Torquay, who seem to have the better of us in this game. Hepburn Murphy, this time on our side. Bon to Riminotta, hits it home. That's our first of the afternoon. Uh, then our second, free kick. Coulson floats it in there. Sanders White finishes it, makes it 2-0. Uh, third one, bad pass by Torquay. Sanders White lobs it forward. Hepburn Murphy with the chase. He takes it to the house. That's three, but unfortunately only a point. Then we took on Dunstable in the FA Trophy. Second round, Ruminotta from the corner. Mansell to Parrish. Eventually falls to Hepburn Murphy. He hits it home. Second goal, Coulson. Nice long low. Hepburn Murphy with the pace to chase. Man in the middle, but he decides to go solo. That is two for us. Our third goal, Akin Fenway involved to Hepburn Murphy. Out wide to Judd, who punts it in there. And eventually... Falls to Akin Fenwa with the third goal of the afternoon. Thomas Ashante came on substitutes bench. He was involved in the fourth over to Judd. Hepburn Murphy slips in with a header. That's four. Into the next round of the cup, but unfortunately we don't get that very far. Next time we took on Maidstone. 5 1 winners. Granderson uh, punts it in there. Sanders White gets a bit of a re rebound. Cheap goal for him. That's our first of the day. Judd eventually breaks up play. Sets up Hepburn Murphy for the second. Squeezes it in the far post. Good goal. Two for Orient. Then the third was from the corner. Ruminotta punts it in there. Granderson with a header. Nice goal. Then Ocheng involved in number four. Out to Coulson. Then to Karoma. Back to Ocheng. Slips it in the Macaulay Bone. Makes it four. I think we uh, missed a missed penalty um, between the fourth and our fifth. Ruminotta involved. Thomas Ashante back on the score sheet. That's his first goal in a long time. Five. One winners. Then we took on Chester out there. Gaff. Three, two winners. A lot of goals for Orient. Karoma. Punts that bad boy in. That's number one for Orient. Second goal of the afternoon. Charlie Lee to Judd. Been involved in a lot of play recently. Hepburn Murphy squeezes it in. That's number two. Third goal of the night. Uh, corner. Ruminotta. Ella Kobe. Oh, my goodness. He's on fire. Next up, we took on uh, Ebsfleet. 5-2 winners. Charlie Lee involved with the first goal. Sets up Coulson. Crosses in there. McCauley Bond wide open. That's the first goal of the evening. Next up. Another corner, Karoma floats it in there. Clay to Ella Kobe. Once again, he's on goal scoring form. Third goal, Colson punts it long. Ruminata heads it back. Macaulay Bon, that's three. As you can tell, we are the Man City of non league football. Charlie Lee involved with a fourth to Clay. Ruminata back to Lee to Macaulay Bon, that's four. That is four for the day. And there's the fifth goal coming up right now. Colson out left. Karoma, Clay. Sleeps it in the middle. Thompson Shante back in there from the substitutes bench. That makes it five. Then we slipped up in the FA Trophy. 2-0 the defeat to Bath. Then we're back in the league. 3-1 winners over Braintree. Here comes goal number one. Macaulay Bon out wide right. Smashes it over to Hepburn Murphy who makes no mistake. Puts that as 1-0 for uh, Orient. Second goal. Macaulay Bon from the penalty spot. Wrap up points. Riminotta smashes one home from a free kick. And we took on Maidenhead at their gaff. 3-0 winners once again. The goals keep on coming for Orient. Karoma punts it long. Owasuma, after the Leeds manager was on my case, he got the start. He got the goal. First goal of the night. Next up, a uh, corner. Or the throw in. A Chang. Over to Coulson. Wide open. He smashes his first goal. And that is your lock. Next up, we took on York in a tricky encounter. Sam Dalby back for the visitor for the home team. Dayton slips in Owasuma, who justifies his second start. Lawless from the spot makes it two. Third goal of the night. Here it comes. Uh, corner. Lawless. Sendles White. Over to Kobe. He's been on rich goal scoring form. And that is where I leave you, folks. Or it's not where I leave you, but that is, brings you bang up to date. Next up for us is the match against uh, Hartlepool. Second place Hartlepool. So let's waste no more time and jump straight in with that game. So here we are with the build up to the Hartlepool match. This match is second versus is first. Uh, let's take a quick look at the table. We are nine points clear. This would stretch it to 12. Um, so fingers crossed that we can we can do that. Oh, Asuma's going to get the nod once again. Thomas Shante is going to get the start. Dayton, Macaulay Bon. Uh, I've got Hepper Murphy from the bench. Karoma's not match fit, so I'm going to swap, swap that out. Maybe make Molyneux get him a nod. Um, who else have we got? Now that'll do. Let's jump straight in and get this match started. Here we are. They've gone for a 4-4-1-1. And I'm going for my 4-2-4, I guess. Or a 4-4-2, depending on how you look at it. 
The most important uh, team talk. Let's keep our run going. Yeah, let's do this. So, to be honest with you, I would take a point at their gaff. Uh, hopefully it doesn't come to that. Hopefully we can give us, give you guys a performance because we've been scoring pretty frequently of, of late. Allison here with a punt for Hartlepool, headed away, Munns to Featherstone. They've got some decent players of Hartlepool. Munns, obviously they're second in the table. Featherstone in midfield, building to Newton. Breaks for Lee though. Oh, Asuma still up there. Still trying to get a three and three for him. McCauley Bon slips it to Dayton. He's back in the side. Charlie Lee, Thomas Ashante with space. Good effort. Coming in from the left-hand side there, Thomas Ashante, who's, who's been in and out of the team for us with injuries early on. He started off really well. That's the long ball for Owasuma to chase. Does he get the better of it? He does. He gets a, he gets a shot in, but uh, it is just wide. That's why, yeah, Thomas Ashante has been in and out of the side. All injury already for uh, Hartlepool. Oh, oh Fusu is off. And they are bringing on Ashante. Maybe they're brothers from another mother. Who knows? So, 26 minutes gone. Let's have a look at the other results. Crew were 2-0 up. That's interesting. Munns booted out there by somebody. I didn't catch the name. Adams back to Featherstone. Featherstone looking for options. Puts it in for Ashante. He turns it. Shoots and sneaks it back in the net. What a nightmare. From the substitutes bench of all. Oh, my goodness. So that'll be six points. That'll be six points. Um, Sergeant to Coulson. We're going to build from the back. Over the top. Oh, so much to chase. Oh, yes. The lead scaffer was on my case for not playing him. He makes it three and three for him now. So give me a bit of a, a, a selection headache. That's good. Good play. Good goal. So it's back to nine points. Newton now. Harrison. For Hartlepool. Being chased back a little bit. Back to Newton. Featherstone. He's a decent player, as Featherstone. Devericks has a shot. Wasn't going to trouble the keeper. I'm looking at my bench right now just to see what, what moves I could make at half time, which is approaching. Munns. Free kick over the top. Keep them coming all day long as we edge towards the first the end of the first half. We've not really been in this game possession-wise. Um, however, shots is what matters, and there's four apiece, one on target each. So, yeah, crew closing the gap on Hartlepool, and that's half time. Okay. Am I happy with that? Meh. I'm going to be, uh... Not happy with the performance. Get out there. Give me something else. I'll call it Bon. This is from the, from the kickoff. Osuma. Featherstone. Shante. For Hartlepool. For Hente. Newton. Deverix. Or Deverdix. Featherstone. Villa Hente. Crosses in there. Munns to chase. When she goes back to Featherstone Lawless, we'll break it up. So yeah, a lot of my guys are moaning for first team action. I mean, we, we, we've um, about to bring in Lawless, about to bring in Ocheng. Just a nice ball. Allison collects, though, for Hartlepool. Punts it out. Shante. Newton. Featherstone. Shante. He's a tricky little player. Featherstone. Deverdix. Munns. Just outside of uh, one of my midfielders there. Devedix turns and shoots. Goes over. Uh, Featherstone once again. Devedix. It's the same old, same old. I'm going to break this up. Devedix. Ashante. Don't give him space. Sergeant saves. He claims it. He claims it. Looking for my, looking through my team now. Allison with the goal kick, punts it towards the shanter, headed by Ella Kobe, back to Harrison. Dayton takes the ball. Bad pass, and Ella Kobe eventually gets it. Osuma oh, chases, turns and doesn't really get on it, and, and, and breaks for for uh, Newton. But Hartlepool, Sendles White now, punts it. Is he offside? He could have been. 
Eventually it breaks again for Hartlepool. This looks like a dodgy, dodgy highlight. Just going to go in their favour. Devidix, Newton, Valhante. Watch that Shante in the middle. Watch them. There's two of them now. Munz. Okay. Magne, Harrison. Punts it long. Coulson collects. Punts it out wide to Granderson, who's in the right back spot. What's he doing? Dilly dallying. Sergeant to Coulson again. Building from the back. Charlie Lee. Thomas Shante. Punts it long. McCauley Bond, the man who should put this in the back of the net. But he can't. He can't do it for Toffee. But we'll get a corner, though. Get a corner. Lawless will take it. I'm looking at my bench now. Who's going to come on? Who's going to be the hero? Phil Hente now will break for Hartlepool. Got man in the middle. Tackled. So, now we turn two, and we're trying to bring on some substitutes. Who's going to be the hero? Hepburn Murphy. Oh, Asuma. Mr. Shante is going up there. We're going to bring on Molyneux for Macaulay Bond. Henry Ochang for Lawless. And we are going to go attacking. We're going to go attacking. Let's do this. I say we're going to go attacking. We are going to go. Well, new. Attacking. Let's do it. Well, Kobe heads it. Hepper Murphy. Ashante. He's now up front. Charlie Lee wide open. Charlie Lee. Seven minutes gone. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We've, uh, we've, we've played all our cards out right now. The only thing I haven't done is gun go and gung ho. But, to be honest with you, a point is not is not terrible. Molyneux. Hepper Murphy. Ashante breaks with his pace. Oh my goodness. We had uh, Akinfenwa or someone else up front. They probably would have put that away. Devidix breaks here. Alakobi heads it to Molyneux. Molyneux looking for an option here. But he's tackled by Newton. Now Hartlepool break with Devidix. He's got a shanty in the middle. Are they going to take him out? Sendles White breaks it up. Only towards Adams and Featherstone for Hartlepool. Back to Harrison. Been pursued a little bit by my, by my forwards. But Allison will... We'll kick it out to Vilhente, who's on the right-hand side. He's, been, he's found a lot of space to Ashante. Sendles White kicks it away. Pauly given away. Thomas Ashante, take advantage. Of oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Are we going to get another golden chance like that? Probably not. Woods. Granderson gets it to Dayton. Again, punts it long. Tries to take it to, to one of my fast forwards. But now it breaks for Hartley for Shante. We do not want to give it to him because he has found the back of the net already. Vilhente crosses it in there. Headed clear. Only as far as Woods. Donaldson snapshot. That's wide. That's wide. Next up. Come on. What have we got? Last few minutes. Allison will kick this bad boy out towards Ashante. Headed clear by Ella Kobe. Only as far as now Woods. Vilhente to Derridix. Uh, Ashanti's wide open. If he had picked that cross out, it would have been 2 1 to Hartlepool. Sergeant to Granderson now. Punter snaps it. Hepper Murphy chases. But no. But no. Okay, here we go. Throw in. Molyneux. Coulson. Ashanti. Hepper Murphy. He's got no options. Has to hold up play. And then she goes to Molyneux to Lee. Oh, giving away. Given away in a really bad position. Shante Deverdix. Who doesn't shoot for Hente. Now Molyneux. Punts it long. Hepburn Murphy with pace. Man in the middle. Take a shot. It's just not our day. We've just not had our shooting boots on. Allison to boot this long. Vilhente will chase it again. Coulson heads it back. Not as far as Magne for Hartlepool. Featherstone still involved in a lot of the play for Hartlepool. Sendles White. Hepburn Murphy tries to chase. But again, it breaks for Hartlepool. And now slips in a Shante. He's out. He's been forced, forced off to the right a little bit. Can't get the snapshot in this. So this game is, is grinding towards a bit of a, a bit of a standstill. A bit of a bit of we cancel each other out a little bit here. Uh, well, whereas Crew, I said that too soon, you watch. Yep, whereas Crew closed up on uh, Hartlepool in third. So, um, 
to be honest with you. Uh, not a bad result. I'll take it. I'll take. I'll take a, a point. Um, you know, it keeps. It keeps it as as a nine point gap. Um, we just now kick on now towards Morecambe. Uh, just quickly show you my schedule over the next few days. Um, in fact, this is it. So this is the last few games of the season. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got ten more games to play, and I will have a final summary um, for you to wrap up the season. It's probably going to wrap up the whole series, if I'm, if I'm honest with you. If I get promoted, then I'll consider it a success. If I fail uh, two seasons in, in, in a row, then uh, can, it will be a, a, a whopping disaster. Obviously, the first season should have really done it then, but... Um, it just fell through, but right now I feel I feel like it's going to happen. We're scoring goals, obviously today. I guess Hartlepool was, was we ground out to a to a draw. But anyway, what will happen in the next ten games? Who knows? We are nine points clear. Uh, so tune in next time. I won't be streaming on Twitch for the next few weeks. Probably won't be back on Twitch until the new year. Um, but you will catch a summary of the end of this season, uh, with whatever may happen anyway if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already make sure you hit the subscribe button I'll keep you bang up to date with all things fm18 coming from me right here at blackburn overseas a lot of content coming in the new year a couple of game saves in the pipeline uh, but we'll talk more about that in the next summary which will be out in a few days anyway until next time thumbs up subscribe ciao for now thanks for watching please like share and subscribe check back for more fm content over the next few days as for my Rovers fans, fear not, Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.